Bonjour from sunny Le Havre here in France. Probably the most unique city in France, being that it was completely destroyed during World War II and rebuilt in a unique way that makes it like no other city in France. But that's not what we're here for. Today we're here to try some Indian food right here in Le Havre. There is a place called the Taj Mahal and I think that they have some sort of tally. So I want to try a tally here in France. I never had an Indian tally in France, so we're gonna go for it. Joining me is gonna be the lovely Sophonator. Yeah, I have my mask so you cannot hear me. Here, you can now. <laughs> you can hear a little bit. And well, here we have the restaurant. Let's check it out from the outside. So it looks like you can sit outside and inside. And this is, this is, look, here they have the menu on the outside. But it seems that this is what is going on in style. Normally they have a buffet, but with the COVID, they took out the buffet and they're doing a tally for 12 euros and 50 cents. So we are gonna try the tally right here in the office. Check out the little patio from outside with your gel. And we'll have a look at this. The same exact tally costs almost 19 euros for the dinner. Recommendation, come for the lunch. All right, let's go and check this place out inside. All right, Indian decor. Let's check out the decorations here. Pictures of India. Mm -hmm. The trains. There's what I'm going for. You can get a veggie option or the non-veg. You have the kids menu and some lunch specials. But check this out here, guys. That's, they have biryani, but I'm gonna give biryani a break today, unfortunately. What? Oh, the gulab jamun for the sofinator. Do they have beer here? I'm in the market for beer. They do have the naan, cheese naan, garlic naan. Oh, here's the drink menu. Ah, perfect. Okay, so they have their own little co the cocktail, the Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. They have wine. Yeah. And right there, beer. Taj Mahal or Kingfisher? I'm gonna. Uh, Bois Kingfisher? Le vin. But le beer, vous avez Kingfisher? Oh, Kingfisher, s'il vous plaît, pour moi. Yes, we got Kingfisher in the house. Yeah. Okay. You know what you want. Oui, oui, uh, le tali, s'il vous plaît. Ah, oui. Une uh, un question, madame. Les chefs sont de l'âme? Ils sont indiens? Les chefs, les chefs sont indiens? Oui, il y a moitié, moitié. Il y a indien, pakistan. Indien, pakistan? Oui, et il y a même un chef uh, qui est du, qui leur pro aujourd'hui, mais il est du Bangladesh. Ok, so Bangladesh, pakistani chef yeah. and indien. Voilà. Wow. All right, guys, so we have three chefs in the building here. One is from Pakistan, one is from Bangladesh, and the other is Indian. And the owner, I was told, is Indian. He's not here right now. It's always cool to meet the owner, but he's not in the building right now. But I was told he's from Northern India, like along the border somewhere. All right. Voila, le Kingfisher. Une question, vous aimez le nourriture de l'Inde? Or no? No. No? C'est pourquoi? C'est très épice? Eh, non? Si vous aimez la nourriture de l'Inde. Ah, si, 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 j'adore! Oh, j'adore! Oh, ok, ok. J'adore! J'ai découvert ça et j'utilise. D'accord. So she was a customer first for one year, and after, like, she went to travel to New Zealand, she came back and she okay. applied to your service. Ah, c'est bon. <laughs> j'adore la nourriture de l'Inde. I love it, j'adore. <laughs> Qui est-ce tu plat préfère? Uh, yes, uh, Papa Began. The bean de berzine, the pinafodon fromage, j'aime quoi d'autre? J'aime vraiment de tout. The biryani, non? Vegan, no, je suis pas entièrement végétarienne, mais j'aime beaucoup. Ok, 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 vegetarian. Ok, d'accord, ok, merci beaucoup. Et le chignan garlic nan, encore mieux. La garlic, oh, bon français, le français adore le nan. Non, moi aussi, moi aussi, c'est très bon le nan. Avec garlic au fromage pour là. Oh. Délicieux. Oui, d'accord. And the kingfisher. Merci. 
<laughs> okay. Guys, we have a kingfisher here. Check it out. The king of good times. When was the last time you had a kingfisher? When I was in Kolkata. Because I've been going to all these Indian restaurants here in Europe, but they always come out with something different. Either, what was the last beer I saw? Amsterdam? Uh, yeah, I forgot what they did. They gave me some new beer that I never tried. But this is the original. Cheers, fam. Cheers. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious, guys. And let's take a look at the glass here in France. It's the Kingfisher glass. Oh, but look, it's in English. Half a pint to the line. Normally, you see like it's written like 33 centiliters or something like that. But this, this wasn't made in France. This must have been imported. Maybe from the UK. Maybe. Okay. Vous avez la sauce légèrement euh, sucrée, cumin, yaourt, menthe, mm -hmm. le suga, cumin, yogurt et euh, mentos. Celui-ci, c'est sucré à l'amande, very sugar, mm -hmm. euh, mango et celui-ci. Let's go to the toilet, guys, to wash my hands. Oh, it's dark here. Oh, the lights are on. All right. So I've been using sanitizer to wash my hands, but the thing is, it gives a nasty taste when you eat. So I'm gonna use the soap. Nice bathroom. Oh my god, the food is here. Yes, the butter chicken. Mm -hmm. The butter chicken. Garlic naan. Garlic naan. Cheese naan. Cheese naan. And the tali, uh, dal, uh, poulet. Mortica. Uh, Mortica, pardon. Mortica. Mortica. Uh, Gauchat pagno. Okay. Lanti indienne. Carrot with pommes de terre. Carrot with potato. Okay. Curry and uh, coriander. Very spicy. Very spicy. Okay. Spicy. Beaucoup, beaucoup. Okay. Samnan. Samosa. Samosa. Vegetable and uh, pakora bacon. Okay. Pakora bacon? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Your favorite, the pakora. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, you have a if I want more, I can get unlimited rice and... Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Guys, look at the food. So, Fenira, got, what did you get? I got chicken tikka to change. No, I love this, so I always take chicken tikka. Chicken looks tikka? Looks different than usual. It looks it's really, really tasty. Yeah. You got some nice sauce. You Raisa. got some purple stuff on the side. Yes, yeah, some, um, what is the word? Like the sprouts, the bristle sprouts. So, sprouts? Yeah, sprouts. Yeah, so it's like purple sprouts. Purple sprouts, Let's all right. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, it's really stuffed. It's quite spicy. <laughs> Are we? It's spicy for you? Yeah, it is right here. <laughs> yeah, it's quite spicy for me. The naan smells delicious. Mm -hmm. And my tally just looks phenomenal. <coughs> Let's go for it, guys. I'm gonna separate most of my things here. Here's the vegetables. I've been told this is really spicy, so we shall see. Everything is very spicy, even my chicken tikka is spicy. All right, Sophonator is suffering right now. My nose is running already. I'm gonna start with the starter. I'm gonna start with my samosa. Mm. Mm. It's nice, it's crispy, very crispy, very freshly fried. I like that. Stuffed with potatoes, I kind of dropped them all there. They sprinkle a little bit of some sort of powder on there on top. <coughs> very delicious. Very, very flavorful. I'm gonna go for a second bite, guys. Let me get all my potatoes back in there. Mm. The samosa is delicious. You don't want to try samosa? <laughs> <laughs> so Fenator on fire, guys. My tongue is like, need a firefighter right now. 
It's really that hot. I don't think I had like a, a chicken to get that spicy. <laughs> wow. All right, Sophie Peter is suffering right now. So we're gonna go with the next one, guys. So they like to put this little powder here. I don't know if the camera catches it, but a little gray powder. And whenever you bite into the powder part, you definitely get a kick of flavoring in there. So I'm gonna start my pakora off on a part that doesn't have that much powder, like this side. Oh man, this is delicious. Actually, it has like a fried eggplant. Mm. Very tasty. Yeah, it's eggplant, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I knew that one that time. Mm. Next, guys, we're gonna go ahead and mix up my dal. We're gonna just go ahead and dump all that in there. Voila. And we're gonna mix it all up. Now that we have mixed up the rice and the dough, we're gonna give it a try. Here's some pretty big lentils, by the way. Have a look at them. They almost look like corn pieces. Mm. Delicious. Good one. Simple, not too spicy or flavorful, just simple enough. I think they have the rice and the dough pre-made here. So usually it caters to the French patrons that come in here and can't handle the spice. Like, <laughs> like this one over here, she's just like suffering. Yeah, but I've just noticed huh? it's less hot with the raita. When you take the spice uh, but we... together, with the raita it's easier. Usually I don't like raita, but on this That's one, what it it's helps. for, that's why they yeah. put it, because it's curd. Mm. And whenever you're eating something that's hot, the Calm curd just brings you back down. Good thing is here. All right, they usually put that with my biryani, but you guys know I won't eat that. The curd. All right, so the rice with the dal is good, guys. Let's, let's go ahead and get the chicken involved here. Let's just dump all this in here. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty curry. Now let's go for the the chicken get it nice and saucy um i'm okay for now i just have the water it's okay thank you all right it's a nice and light chicken curry that they gave me here mm. A bit spicy, I'll give it like on the spicy level, I'll give it a, a solid four. Again, the tally items are pre-made for folks who can't handle all the spicy. I bet so you might like this. Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, um, actually now I'm eating the whole thing and not just the chicken tikka. Now I'm eating with the raita and the sprouts. The purple sprouts. The purple sprouts. Everything together, it adds this fresh touch to balance the spiciness. So now, like I'm eating everything at the same time, it, it's cool. But by itself, it's spicy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another thing to note: so when you get the tally, you kind of get like this pre-cut naan that they prepare on bulk. But if you order a la carte, you get the super fresh naan. I have made an observation. Some other guests here has ordered a biryani. And it came in like a, a real French presentation. It's like on a big, nice looking plate. The biryani was shaped like a square. And it, it didn't look like a biryani. For sure, it's not a biryani. It's more like a pulao or some kind of fried rice. Everything makes up in there already. I'm almost curious, but not as curious. That I really will be normally. We're gonna try out this vegetable mix here, guys. It's carrots with potatoes. Check them out. Let's give 
give that a go. Every time I try vegetarian Indian options, I'm reminded why in India it's very easy to eat vegetarian options for someone who's not a vegetarian because the stuff is just delicious. This mix here with this curry, these carrots and potatoes tastes really good. It tastes, it's more on the sweet side, but the flavoring is just phenomenal. I prefer it than my chicken curry. So it's unlimited now, guys. I, I ordered some more. We're gonna go ahead and try out their mutton curry. Oh. Merci beaucoup. All right, guys. Got another round of naan in there. Nice and warm. You want one? Yeah, I want a regular one. Sulfonator. She's really suffering, guys. Have a look. My tears are like coming out. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna try out the mutton curry. <laughs> you know, I love this eating experience. Like, there's one of the things I like about the tali. You kind of just put everything on the plate there and just dig in and have fun. It's a unique way of eating. It's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. The mutton curry is good. I think they use something coconut in there, maybe some coconut flakes in there, coconut milk or something in there. But it's giving it a coconut taste. It reminds me of those dishes in, in Goa. Have a look at it, guys. Okay, so Sophie's not digging the cheese naan right now. It's not paneer. She says it's not paneer in there. I'm gonna test it out. Oh, I think you ate all the cheese. <laughs> There's more here. Look. Oh, okay. I just piece that cheese. Already, like I ate all the cheese. French people and cheese. All right, so you see, it's like a creamy kind of cheese in there. It's not the usual paneer. Let's test it. Mm. It tastes like cream cheese, like Philadelphia cheese. Yeah. In there. Not Philadelphia. Those little French cheese is the babble. I think it comes in like a little red circle. Yeah. You melt it I think they melted it and it tastes just like that. I'm not quite sure, but that's exactly what it tastes like. I have been told this is extremely hot and spicy. To proceed with caution. I'm gonna dump all this, all over the rest of my mutton curry. And we're gonna see just how hot it is. Let's go for it. Let's get this big piece of chicken right here. Oh no. All the hotness, but let's get all that. All right, it's there. Let's see how it is. It is hot a little bit, but it's spicy and it gives it a whole nother taste. It tastes a little bit like a little vinegar in there. But I really like it, it really enhanced everything and I should have been putting this on everything. But I really like this stuff. Let's put it on the rest of my chicken here. Mm. It really enhanced the flavoring a lot guys, 100%. This guy right here. Let's try it out with the chicken. Mmm. If you want your food more spicy, add this. It goes up two levels, not one, two levels. 
Sophie can't handle the chicken, so I'm gonna do what I do best, and that's finish her food. <laughs> and by the way, guys, it's been about three minutes since I started eating this, and it begins to get hot. On a scale of one through 10, I will give it a two to three on the hotness level. It gives enough of a kick. But if I'm saying that for Sophie, it'll probably be a 10. Yeah, because mine is already a seven, like seven, eight. That's a Spice. seven, eight? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Vote this time. All right, guys, let's see what Sophie's see super face. hot chicken is all about. Mmm. Tomorrow you'll see the reaction. <laughs> it's not spicy. Like, it's spicy, flavorful, but it's not hot. Oh, it's super hot. My tongue is on fire. I don't know, maybe because I already had yeah, and you had all this the rice right here. Just eat it by yourself. Like, yeah, and you I didn't have it with rice. I had it with naan. Alright, let's eat it by itself. Yeah, but you already tried something spicier. Oh, but it looks inoffensive like that. Mm? <laughs> it looks like you can have it like a lot, but... It's super spicy. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. it has yeah, it has yeah. a little bit of its kicking down. I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh, it's not, it is a little bit on the hot. It will get your stuff running like it is now. <laughs> if he wants to make no, me think like it, it is hot. No, she's not lying at all. No. Actually, now like it has spread more evenly over my tongue. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm a bit confused because I, I don't know if it's this or this. No, no, it's this. <laughs> is this? Chicken. Like my lips are. On fire. I'll give the credit to Sophie. The Chicken tikka is surprisingly hot. It usually isn't, but this one is. Mm -hmm. I do feel it on a 1 through 10, a 3 to 4. Liar, liar. It's not 3 to 4, it's a three to four on my scale. You have you never tried the ghost chili, and you never been in you never been into any chili. So, oh, oh, merci beaucoup. All right. So my last piece is in hand here because I think this will be enough to finish all my curries. Everything is just about done. I just have this little egg pan left, and I'm gonna try something here different. Just the rest of this curry. I'm gonna eat it with the egg pan as if the egg pan was a nan. Choreography, woohoo! Mm. Yummy. We have a problem, guys. So I need to wash my hand, but it's really dirty right now. And to go to the restroom, you gotta wear the mask. So sulfonated to the rescue. Mercy. We have gulab jamuns in the building. And then we have one of these guys. The Kier. This is the first one. Looks very interesting. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Alright. Sulfonator can't wait. We know who's gonna eat that. Sulfonator. Alright, ladies first. Go for it. The feeling is not hot though. It's warm. It's warm. Yeah. Look at the inside. It's nice and juicy. Not the best. Oh. I mean, I just remember this one I had in the street for 10 rupees. Where was it? Bangalore. Bangalore. It was the best of my life. And yeah, it's not warm enough. And I think you can tell it's a can. <laughs> Right, you guys heard it guys, it doesn't get the French stamp of approval. Sulfonator is a tough critic. Yep. Yeah, but nothing better than the red one in the street. I mean, it's hard to get that like when, when they have yep. the heat under it. Yeah, and... sure. I'll still eat it though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> For me, it's good. Mm. It's not the best that I have. I don't think it's fresh, fresh. Mm. That's what's going on here, but it's still good. It's still a delicious treat, guys. Yeah, it's still good, but yeah, it's not the best. 
I agree. Just read the court of it. Time to try the kheer. Rice with milk and almonds. Oh. Except what? Mm. I feel the roses. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's not bad. I like when it's warm. It's not bad. Yeah? Mm. Interesting. I like it. Not spicy. I like it. Yeah, no, I like it. I think after all this spice meal, yeah. it's very, it feels nice to eat something like that. Because that has the milk, so it's just gonna like lower things out. And, and the roses is like fresh. Yeah. Fresh mm -hmm. mm. I, yeah, I like the cure more here. No. No, not, not overall. Oh, uh, yeah. Not at all time. Just saying, I said here. You didn't hear that. Sorry, spell. I felt like an attack towards the gulab jamun, so I was like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, like when you attack my biryani, it's the same. <laughs> Check out the bill, guys. The final bill is 50 euros for everything that we had. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Bonjour. Alright, guys, we're leaving now. I am completely stuffed. I ate so much and I feel so good right now. Because I, just, I, I love food. I live for food. Anyways, that was delicious, guys. Um, the more that you add the condiments on the side, like the spice of the food got it got really spicy. It was really tasty. I wish I could have seen the chefs and spoken to them because they did a really good job. And yeah, wow. Time to go for a little bit of a short walk here and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Sylvanator, so, you have anything to say? Let's go back to India to get the real deal of the naan and the gulab jamun. <laughs> Alright, Sophie wants like the real gulab jamun for 10 rupees on the yeah, street, nice 10 and warm. Rupees. You know I love cheap stuff. So. <laughs> and she wants the the naan. Sorry about that, the camera died. The battery died actually. We're not dead yet though. <laughs> yeah, but I can't speak anymore. I'm completely stuffed right now. So we're gonna catch you guys on the next one.